Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Worms Reloaded commentary. Today we have a new competitor in the fray in the form of Monkey SR Super, which is Deathwish's daughter. And uh, we've got a quick match between the two here. And uh, Deathwish is going to get us underway here on the left hand side of the pond with a relatively even-ish spread. Deathwish with two on both sides and uh, Monkey here with uh, three on one and one on the other. But it looks like Deathwish is going to start us up here with a barrel shot next to the worm at the top. And uh, that worm slides right into the water. And already we are down to four on three. So let's see what uh, Monkey can do here. With their first shot of the match going high. Got to stay away from that mine, of course. And um, maybe going to throw a grenade across to the other side and try and catch those barrels, I think, where that 100 guy is on top of the golf shoe and switch to Zuka. Maybe a little bit too low. No, there is a big, big explosion. And just like that, Monkey is able to bring it back to a three on three. Nice shot there. Nice opening shot indeed with Deathwish now on the far left with this worm, which is a little bit isolated down this pit and does damage to himself. Maybe that was um, maybe that was on purpose as the mine propels Monkey's worm down on top of the umbrella. And on the other side of the map, the right hand there, there's a lot of fire damage going on there. And uh, it's got a little bit crazy from that previous barrel explosion. But uh, we're back with Monkey here on the left hand side. Let's see what they can do. So trying to climb up this wall here. A little bit slippery there. Might have a better better job trying to go for the brolly. But uh, just seeing what they're able to do. There we go. On to the brolly they go. Now, which side are they going to attack for? Of course, putting a worm over here will give you a tactical advantage when shooting across here, but you've got to be very careful. There are two barrels on that umbrella, so any retaliation from Deathwish could be quite costly here. With less than 10 left on the clock, switches it out to the grenade. And it's a little bit too high. Will it drop? No, it won't. It's unfortunate. And uh, Deathwish stays safe for the time being. But let's see what's going to happen next, because like I say, those two worms are on that umbrella and there are two barrels and you've got to think that Deathwish is going to take this opportunity to cause some biggish damage. There we go. Look at that worm flying through there. Wasn't able to set off the other one, which is a little bit too far away, but he has managed to kill one of the worms. And then the death animation damage there causing a little bit more, but uh, yeah, four worms damaged in that shot, so really good. And Deathwish has the upper hand now with a three on two. Back to Monkey now, who has got uh, one one good health worm and one who is within one hit range. Just they pull out the bazooka, nice shot. I don't think it was quite direct, it was all but direct. And then a bit of extra damage from the fall, but uh, nice shot there from Monkey. Of course, didn't really want to play back towards themselves because there's a chance they could have taken out their other worm. But Deathwish now is like between the two here. Let's see what he can do. He is able here to move his worm away and higher up on that left hand side. And you can assume he's just going to drop a grenade up and down to this 13 guy. And rolls down nicely, puts his worm down in the vicinity. And uh, it's certainly killed that worm, but it's definitely opened up an area there on the left hand side where. Both his worms could be attacked. Both worms there sitting on 81. Of course, both of them are not within one hit kill though range. So what will Monkey do here? Will they attempt to take out the worm on the far right? Or will they look to make some inroads here on these two 81 guys? Looks like the 81 guys are going to feel the brunt of this. Grenade in the middle. Not going to get any sort of maximum damage here, unfortunately. But a nice shot, and just unfortunately, that worm manages to cling on to that umbrella. I thought we were going to see it slide into the water there. But nice shot there from Monkey. Good job. It was a good effort indeed. But what can Deathwish do here? you got to think he might be able to wrap things up with this one. 
And he's going to take no chances. No, no. I thought he might go for a bazooka, but he's switching out to grenade. Five seconds, and you got to imagine this one is going to fly into the water, and it's up. And no, it does the same as Deathwish's worm did previously, and just lands on that ledge on that brolly. So that brolly and those pixels have come in, uh, played a big part in this match so far, saving two of the worms. But in a three-on-one situation. <laughs> I can imagine it's only a matter of time now before Deathwish takes this one, but I'm sure Monkey can bring it down to at least a two-on-one before everything is said and done. Let's see what they're going to do. They've got the bazooka out. We're going for a cross-map shot, it seems. And, uh, nope, we're just going to aim straight down. I think I would personally go for a grenade shot here, but... And... <laughs> in bizarre t twist of events there... Deathwish's Worm swaps places with Monkey's Worm. So, Monkey did get the kill on Deathwish's Worm, but unfortunately they end up in the drink as well. So, uh, Deathwish takes the match. Okay then, on to match number two here. And we're going for an island map this time around. We're not in a cave or have a pond. And it's Deathwish once again to get us underway here in the centre of the map. The... Some, there are some nice little goodies just to the left here, which I think he's going to try and bring into play. So going to cause some movement on their minds, but it rolls the wrong way. So it will just be the damage here from the grenade. It wasn't a direct shot either. So let's see what Monkey can do in retaliation. I think the uh, Monkey here has a very unfortunate position worm here, this one right here where it's way off to the left-hand side of here. Not a lot that Monkey's going to be able to do about this, uh, apart from turning around and maybe trying to tunnel in inwards, I think. Got to be very careful, though, here, not to land on this mine or get too close to it. There we go. It's been set off, and uh, that's unfortunate. I think uh, the better strategy there would have been just to turn around and try and start tunneling inwards from that lower left position. But uh, Deathwish now to play. You've got to think that he's going to send this worm on the top left into the drink and does indeed and instantly brings it down to a four on three in his favour. So let's see what Monkey can do in retaliation here. Again, not the best position worm here. You've got to think. And um, looks like they're going to try and fire a bazooka shot. Try and get some uh, wind assistance here. It's not going to move too much, only one wind. But uh, not a bad effort. Not a bad effort, apart from the fire damage there. And into the drink. Big mistake there from Monkey. And Deathwish now has a 4 on 2 advantage. So, I think he's going to pull that grenade out here. There's a big bucket there for him to aim for, where that 62 worm is. And... Uh, there we go. It's got all the time in the world just to roll around, settle a bit. The worm is up and back down again. And uh, it will get to have another turn, this worm, before the end of the match. But uh, you got to think that uh, this will be its one and only turn and influence of the match. So can Monkey make it count and do something worthwhile here as it's trying to decide what to do here, deciding their options. Looks like they're going to go for a... Grenade shot. A little bit too high, unfortunately. Has tried to leave the worm a little bit higher on that right-hand side there, just so that any grenades that may be coming in there won't necessarily have a direct impact. So definitely should have to be relatively accurate with a grenade here to cause some damage or have a short timer as he's trying to jump up this wall here on the right-hand side, but it's just a little bit too slippery. You might have a better look to try and backflip onto this brolly rather than trying to jump over there. But I think both angles are relatively steep, so I don't think he's going to be able to achieve too much. So, again, I think we're going to see a grenade shot, which we are. Five seconds on the timer. And it's up and over. Is it going to sit in the hole? It's going down. Just rolls on the outside, but uh, triggers a grenade, but falls the wrong way, unfortunately, for him. But luckily for Monkey, their worm lives to fight another day. However, has still... Debatable as to whether or not we'll get another turn because we're going to be playing with the 74 worm here now on the left hand side. Have they got themselves stuck here in this hole? Backflipping is not an option, but it's able to get out with a jump. 
Got some big wind against them. I don't know if there's an, enough of an angle though here to to get a bazooka shot up. The wind would certainly carry it. It's whether or not that they were a bazooka shot straight up in the air would clear that little gap at the top where that uh, roll of turf has been obliterated by uh, the rocket shot earlier on. Playing monkey is playing a very dangerous game here though. Back on the land. Was trying. I think they're trying to get on the bottle here to give themselves some form of better angle with two left on the clock. And uh, it's unfortunate the timer has run. So it's back with Deathwish now. And uh, grenade shot into the bucket again. Doesn't even need to think about it here. Reasonably close. And it was 18. And that worm is out of here. So it is down to a four on one here. Real tough break here for Monkey. Deathwish hasn't taken a single hit of damage here, unfortunately. But let's see what they can do. They are now on the bowl. And the wind is with them again here, so let's see. I think they're going to try that shot. I won't go straight up, though. You need to clear that roll of turf, but then you have to hope that you don't go too high or it's going to carry the rocket just too far out. And that's, yeah. That was always going to be the unfortunate thing there, whether or not you could clear the roll of turf at the top, and it seems like Monkey was not able to in that instance. So Deathwish can do the wind against him, which could play into his hands. I think he was just trying to maybe get one through that gap where that little pixel is at the top and the bottom of the roll of turf there, but um, wasn't able to do so. But yeah, the wind would have certainly curved that back round if he could have got uh, the right sort of angle on the shot. But now that turf has pretty much gone, it's still a little bit there, so I think it it depends how Monkey wants to play this, but it might be wise just to fire a rocket shot up the top here and clear out that last bit of roll of turf, but opts instead to now start maybe tunnelling up a little bit to create some different angles there. Of course, Monkey's Worm now is going to be pretty safe for the next three turns, so... They've definitely got a strategic advantage here. Is Deathwish just going to jump in the pond? He is. And doesn't quite make it, though, unfortunately. Oh, no. The worm has gone after the after they've taken the fall damage. The worm then takes it. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've often talked about this in games of worms before between me and Deathwish, where if you've got a worm that is so isolated and isn't really going to impact anything, you may as well just get them to commit suicide because it opens up an opportunity for the worms that are in more prominent positions to actually be uh, part of the game and have more turns. So I'm going to be able to do that with all the worms, though. He's just going to fire a, a shot up here and maybe he's just going to... Okay, I think he's going to do an aid shot here in the hope that he can create a tunnel and drown his worm here. Which he does indeed. So uh, Monkey here has got two more free shots before... The closest worm to them of death wishes gets to have a turn. So let's see what they can do here. And uh, wasn't able to capitalise, unfortunately. I think death wish here. Is death wish going to go down to these two mines here, or is he going actually going to try and attack here? He's just going to create a bit more of a pit here. So he wants to keep that worm in play for now, it seems. Feels like he can use that worm to his advantage and bring it into play quite nicely. So let's see what his uh, plans are with that worm as we're back with Monkey now. And uh, I really think they need to go back on top of that bowl if they can. And then let's see what they can do a little bit better this time. In the sense that get the angle better. Nice angle there. Just a little bit too far, but that was a fantastic shot there from Monkey indeed. Um, let's say just a little bit too much power. But it's always going to be a balancing game when you're firing from so long because you need enough power to clear that area above. It's always a balancing act of like too much power as to is it going to curl in enough. But Deathwish here, I think it's going to look to drop a grenade down below. Certainly can't play with the wind, but let's see what he's going to do. He's jumping back to the golf boot here, so not entirely sure what his plan is here. He's just going to try and take out some of these P 
pixels and things at the top here to give Monkey uh, a bit more of a, a few more angles and open a bit more up. Do indeed. I am not aiming good. I do feel a little bit sorry here for Monkey. I do feel like the positionings of these w worms early on really didn't help and uh, that really did kind of lead to her losing so many worms so early on. But uh, Death Wish has given an opportunity here, but yep, the wind is against there, so a rocket shop, unfortunately, is never going to work there. As we now return to Death Wish. He's got the worm in the middle, switching out to the rocket. See what he can do from the middle here. Look, he's maybe trying to create a bit more of a tunnel here on the lower side of things. Let's see if he can attack Monkey from that side. I am not aiming good. But uh, let's see what happens. The wind looks to be against yeah, Monkey though, so rocket shots are going to be off the cards here. Switches to the grenade. Three seconds on the timer. Can they get a rocket between Deathwish and that? Oh, that's a good shot. Very good shot indeed. And Deathwish's worm flies over to the drink. And we are on to a 1v1 here with... It's going to be a bit of a game of chess here for a start. Until some angles and opportunities can be opened up here. But yeah, wow, that was a great shot from Monkey. I was thinking if they could just get the, the grenade between the worm and that shoe. And uh, there would be uh, in for some good amount of damage. And uh, there was actually enough there to fly that worm into the drink. Now, Monkey's going to start tunneling here from underneath. And just got to be careful of those uh, mines above. If they get a little bit too thin, then um, certainly going to be a bit problematic for them. The mines have a chance of rolling down. So just got to be wary of that as Death Wish fires another shot off there and just ever getting closer with his little tunnel there. And the monkey once again not really paying attention to the wind unfortunately and that one is rainbowing up and into the pond. Death Wish is all but through now onto this left hand side. I am not aiming good. Hopefully monkey won't uh, finish it off for him. I'll let Death Wish do the work. And then you've got the opportunity to bring your worm into play now. We, we've got four windy here again. Let's see what sort of shot monkey can do this time. Can they learn from the previous? I don't think this time though they got enough. Their angle wasn't steep enough. So the power was about right. This time it was the angle that really sort of put pay to getting close to Deathwish. But they always are difficult shots as Deathwish now breaks through to the other side. And uh, it's now game on. What will Monkey choose to do? I know I think I would personally try and bring my worm now inland, away from that water's edge, which I'm sure she will as she there jumps onto the mainland. And away she goes. I'll just gotta walk through there, I think. There's a few pixels, you're not gonna be able to jump there, just banging your head. Very hard to see in this uh, terrain. So it just needs to float a nice and gentle shot here, just over the top of what is left of that roller turf. That's it. Good shot. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't able to knock the worm down, though. And um, let's see what Deathwish now can do in retaliation. Quite unfortunate there, Monkey was, not to get a little bit more of a slide there. But those golf balls are sort of uneven terrain, so... There's always a chance that that's going to happen as Deathwish hits for 31 and brings Monkey's remaining worm into one-hit territory here. Monkey does have an opportunity, though, to finish up if they can get a good bazooka shot here and drop the worm onto the mine. Just doesn't need more, any much more power. Just like last, that's too much power. Just needed just to wait. when you've got shots like that, I just need to float it up in the air, and that was just a little bit too much power, unfortunately. And you got to think that Deathwish will now finish up here. Direct shot with the bazooka, and there we go, 45 damage. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back real soon with some more Worms Reloaded. But until then, thank you and happy gaming.